A remark attributed to Archimedes, give me a place to stand and with a lever I will move the whole world, also applies to torque. See how Archimedes has set the earth up, here's the earth, and this must be Archimedes. The earth is closer to the fulcrum, so its R distance is smaller, and this will reduce the amount of force that he needs to exert to move it. Of course, this is a fanciful illustration. Here's a view of two screwdrivers from the top. We're looking at the handle and the shank, that's the long thin part that connects the handle to the tip which contacts the screw, of the screwdriver goes into the page. So if I wanted to look at this sideways, let me just kind of draw this. Here's a sideways view. This distance here is this distance. And then we have the rest of the screwdriver goes off like this. And you have a little bit here and that's what goes into the screw. So assume that you apply a constant force to each screwdriver. Which one would turn the screw easier? Would a longer shank, and this here is the shank, would that help? The force that you're applying to turn the screwdriver is exerted perpendicular to the radius of the handle. Picture your hand wrapping around like this and you're applying a force in that direction. The forces in each case are the same. Torque is RF sine theta and again Here's your angle theta. It's perpendicular in both cases, so th sine theta will be 1. So the greater the radius of the handle, the greater the torque, hence the greater angular acceleration for a given value of torque. Therefore, screwdriver A is more effective. So you would want a, a handle that has a greater diameter. The length of the shank doesn't really matter. Again, we have to assume it's perfectly rigid. It does not bend or deform under the force. That's what we do basically in high school physics. We make a lot of simplifications. But as long as the shank isn't bending, you will want to choose a screwdriver with a bigger diameter handle.